And Good to be here, Lou. And he, God bless Ron DeSantis, for yes, goodness sakes. Do you he, think they're, they're going to learn over, how to govern? He kicked over uh, this particular can and sounded the alarm. And uh, it, it's just extraordinary that the that the of the state before we even get to the investigation that we learned that the Republican leadership was blocking that investigation a year ago. Hey Lou, they did that to me in Benghazi also. Exactly. They were they were quashing that investigation. So we are uh, again is that uh, is that speak I'm going to ask for a, a judgment here. Uh, Trey Gowdy is now the head of oversight. Why is he not doing something? Uh, he was the head of various committees, including uh, Benghazi, that produced absolutely nothing in the way of concrete uh, or uh, results or resolution. Well, we're glad that Ron DeSantis is doing it because he's a former federal prosecutor and uh, he's a go-getter on this. I think he'll do a great job. Let's turn to your, uh, your informant and uh, the gag order that prevents him uh, from going before Congress. Uh, are you surprised that the, the Trump Justice Department has not lifted that gag order. Well, I did not go to them, Lou. I decided when I got the case, and that was only a few weeks ago, um, that the best person to speak would be the chairman of the Judiciary Committee. I think he has more authority in his request than I do. So uh, that was my uh, strategy, to go and, and have Chairman Grassley, and God bless him too, because he's been in, interested in this issue for a couple of years now. So he immediately issued a letter to the Justice Department and to me at the same time asking to interview my client. So he gave um, the Attorney General uh, sessions until November 1st to, to cough up that NDA. You know, we don't even have a copy of it, so we don't know what it says. Uh, but your informant <laughs> presumably does have a, a very good understanding of what it uh, prohibits him from doing. He does, because he, a year ago when he had brought a civil suit, his then lawyer was told by the Loretta Lynch Justice Department if he goes forward and he does not dismiss the case, his uh, reputation and liberty are in jeopardy. And when the Justice Department talks to me about my liberty, I figure that's a prosecution. And, and extraordinarily, mm -hmm. uh, this is a gag order, uh, a non-disclosure, that has a criminal penalty uh, no. for, for, for breaching it? That's what the Justice Department said. Lou, I have never heard of a criminal penalty no. for an, an NDA, I'm not in all my years of practicing law, and it's a, been a good many. Um, also, if it does, and it, it is unconstitutional and it's invalid, if it prohibits my client from giving information to the legislature. The executive cannot say to people, hey, you can't uh, give information to an, another body of, of the government. So it's either invalid or it doesn't say what they said that it said. So where are we? It seems like the most uh, expedient mm -hmm. measure would be you're the attorney and one of the country's best, uh, but I at this point, why not simply get a decision from this, uh, the attorney general to lift that gag order and move ahead with these committees. I mean, we have, as Congressman DeSantis pointed out, three committees investigating the Trump administration without an iota of evidence or a definition of a crime. Uh, in the case of the special counsel, uh, the Senate and, and House intelligence committees alongside them uh, carrying on an investigation now in, in total uh, cumulatively, we're talking about over a year and a half of an investigation without producing uh, even uh, as uh, Senator Richard Byrd, the chairman of Senate Intelligence, put it, even uh, preliminary findings because there are none. Why in the world can we not have just a straightforward answer the American people one time from their government? This well, is what's okay. going on, and these are the people responsible. Call the Justice Department and ask them if to? they're going to comply. Of course I do. Of course well, I do. We'll, we'll, uh, I think we can consider this a phone call right here. Good. With pictures. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, well, you know, let me tell you that for some time now, since Peter Schweitzer's uh, great book, Clinton Cash, right. we have had what I call the equivalent of the Menendez case. But in the Menendez trial, criminal trial, it's that he, uh, Menendez, Senator, Senator Menendez, the uh, Senator Menendez, Menendez, had all kinds of authority to carry out things for people, and he had a, a doctor friend who gave him all kinds of goodies. 
that's what they went to trial on and there are the prosecution is allowing the jury to decide whether there was criminal intent we already have that for the Clintons think about it we already know that Bill Clinton got 500 grand for a one-hour speech not my fees maybe yours uh, and that's just four months before this deal went through with CFIUS and that the the foundation got tens of millions of dollars specifically well, 145 million dollars in point of fact and the director 145 million dollars yeah. from one deal now that's quite a quid or quo however you want to construct it and the deal went through and then there were other things that will that will come out that the state department did for the people involved visas and allowing them to enter the united states and all that kind of stuff as this this goes on but we know the deal went through there's a quid and there's a quo you know and my, what my client does is just put a little more meat on those bones a little more or substantively more how wait for us if you will uh, weigh for us the uh, the impact of what he does know and what you may have learned from him well I don't want to get in the business of my violating an NDA no I wouldn't ask you for client, any specific so, but I think it's quite it's quite significant he can tell what all the Russians were talking about during the time that all these uh, mm -hmm. uh, bribery payments were made. At what point does the national interest become so evident to even, even the swamp in D.C. that they have know. to make rational decisions about what the Congress can learn and the American people must know? Lou, I was called uh, a few days ago by some, someone from CNN just asking me some questions and I said, oh, don't you want me to go on and discuss it? We'll get back to you. I mean, we can't even get anybody else but Fox to uh, do the story. And America should never forget that. Victoria? Never. <laughs> it's good to see you again, and we thank you very much, and uh, we uh, look forward to a successful and, uh, and quick resolution. Thanks so much. Thank you. Victoria Tonsing.